Hello and welcome to Dark Horse Academy. Today we will be discussing an important aspect and uh, content discovered and given by an important sociologist Emil Durkheim in his book on society under the name The Society in 1897. So Mr. Emil Durkheim has you know just you know taken a different line as far as you know all kinds of society and society is concerned we had different psychologists different approaches to define society to find the cause behind the society but mr emil durkham was a sociologist who wanted to discover the real reason behind this social fact and mr durkham has come up with astonishing finding on societies and he has cited many reasons behind societies and these many regions are associated with social integration and these will be the causal factor behind occurrence of societies. So let's talk on that. He's not talking on any psychological issue, any uh, mental issues, any economic factors like bankruptcy, loss of job, relationship factors. No. Sociologist Mr. Emil Durkheim has cleared his strengths on society that suicide happens in a society just because of lack of social integration and this social integration is the ultimate cause behind the occurrence of suicide in the society so let's talk about four different types of suicide that mr Durkheim has you know uh, given in his book the suicide so we'll try to understand these suicide uh, you know types through these two vertical y axis i one i call the axis of integration another i call the axis of regulation and these these two axes these two vertical axes for your simplicity for getting a proper concept you know clearance and proper cheeky concepts i just draw these lines and i will define you how these actually uh, can, can be put on board so these four types of society you know can be understood th through these two vertical lines this is an axis of integration this is an axis of regulation here are the two extreme points are on both the axis uh, one is the top most uh, top most extreme that denotes too much of uh, of integration and another lowest extreme point on this y-axis denotes the to less of uh, integration in a society behind the occurrence of societies another axis represents you know the axis of regulation this regulation also has two extremes one is too much another is too less too much of regulation and too much of uh, you know too less of regulation in society are the ultimate co cause behind occurrence of society in society what mr dokim says you mr dokim says you know whenever there is too much of you know uh, integration in a society there we can see uh, the kind of society happens you know uh, for example to better understand this we can say you know a soldier on the border of a country goes to defend the country he knows he will die he will face the bullet of the enemy and he ultimately decides to give up his life for the society this shows the integration level of that soldier with the country with the culture with the customs with the system is very very enhanced he's he's intensely in in integrated with this system this integration is too much with what is following with this soldier he's too intensely integrated with the society that he ultimately decide to give up his life and this sort of society is called altruistic society another society we have uh, on the lower extreme of this axis that is egoistic society why we call this an egoistic society it's on the integration axis here integration is too less that means a person if i as a person go to america where there is a different culture totally different setup okay the people will not be uh, very encompassing uh, one you know they will be treating me like you know i'm not uh, from their territory 
so there will be less integration and i will not be contributing in the economy of that system i will not be culturally integrated with that country and racially i might be from a different race and ethically i might be from a different territory so different ethical backgrounds might be the cause you know this will cause the lesser integration with the society and this lesser integration with the society will ultimately filling the actor with the feeling that he is not socially that uh, you know uh, relevant factor he cannot contribute to the society and this ultimate feeling of not contributing to the society uh, you know from the actor side will ultimately lead him to the egoistic side so this sort of society is what we call egoistic society let's move to another axis axis of regulation when there is a too much of regulation like so, you know in india we has caste system where you know there is uh, um, the exercise where we cannot you know uh, this too much of regulation in a society will ultimately leading to the fatalistic society why a girl is committing suicide why, why a boy uh, boy is committing suicide because he is unable to try not with his beloved one because too much of regulations of society are there and these are Uh, causing him to get detached from the society and social uh, you know uh, these social uh, regulations will ultimately lead him to go for the fatalistic society so lowers in in this sort of society can um, can be mentioned another on the lower extreme of the axis axis of regulation where regulation is not that much that means there is a lack of regulation that is there is a situation of normlessness we can say a situation of normal normlessness is there that means lack of regulations might also you know make someone commit suicide like a person who is not regulated by uh, you know a person who is not regulated by any kind of regulation social regulations social norms uh, lawlessness is a kind of situation where you know uh, this sort of society can be seen suppose if in india we have no constitution suppose uh, for the indian societal setup we have no norms what will happen everybody there will be a complete chaos there will be lawlessness people will be uh, uh, behaving different ways for going for their completing their motives a complete normlessness will be there injustice will happen in the society and ultimately leading to the decline of the peace of the society and thus peacelessness will ultimately leading to the uh, you know uh, to the damage to the so societal structure and so societal setup which will ultimately leading to uh, the uh, you know uh, absurd in the instances of society so this sort of society can be put in anomic society so this was on uh, emil dokem to his book the society we mentioned four types of societies one is uh, altruistic society another one is egoistic society and third one is fatalistic society and the fourth one is anomic society hope you like the video you find it helpful thanks for watching